Hey everyone, this is Roscoe, and welcome to part 6 of the LP of Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. Yeah, in the last part we faced our first giant enemy, the Big Zam. Although, weirdly enough, Dozo was not the one t operating it. Huh. What do you have in mind? Uh, yes, I believe now I finally developed a, a good... Why am I... Why am I doing this? I should not care. Just as I suspect. Damn it. Damn it, past me. You shouldn't care for this. Uh. Yeah, whatever. Just as I suspect. Okay, um, what you just saw there is actually when you have a new mobile suit, you could just uh, sell the old one if you're just going to replace it. Of course I can't make this a Um, so if you go to a rank 1 mobile suit, there are, di there are different levels of ranking, obviously. Just yes! The Jigen is one of my most favorite, is my favorite, um, mass-produced mobile suit, only because the look and feel is very simple, really. It's the best way I can put it. Uh, yeah, I only put I feel for the time being. Um... Every if these effects have different abilities, I feel this is probably the one with the most um, use. It. Um, when I'm guarding or even guarding, uh, sorry, when you're not guarding, it any melee, uh, not melee, any shot attack will practically do less damage. That's all I can equip for now. Uh, no, I can equip more, but I'm being an idiot right here. All right, let's see for what else we can get. Life on the line. Hmm. Jeez. I wonder if we're going to be meeting a new character that has put their life on the line. Come on, people. It's not hard to realize who we might be fighting. If I change it. Wait. That type of talk. Who the hell was that? Oh, uh, no shit, Kira. Do we need to fight? Of course we need to fight, Amuro. Jesus Christ, what kind of stupid question was that? Mission boss, Judo Ashta. What the hell? Um, I don't want to make enemies with Judo. I mean, he's not the best character in Gundam, but he's an okay one. Uh, yeah. That's my entertainment during my load screens. I forgot to edit that out. Oh, well, sometimes they're not too bad. They're not that long. Um, okay. That new uh, building right there we see in the middle. It's actually a missile launch pad. What will happen is when the missile launches, it's going to be a time thing. Time constraint. Ow. Wait. Diego? Oh. Wait, what? Um, that's not Hero's natural voice. I know that much. I forgot the voice actor's name. With due respect, it's been a while. Um, yeah, that's not Hero's original voice. That I know. Uh, the missile will launch, and what it hits an enemy base, and when it does, it will actually do um, quite a significant amount of damage. Or I believe it takes the field automatically for you. We've taken the enemy field. Switching to plan B2. Ow. Wow. We've already conquered most of the field and we're only four minutes into this part. Ugh. What the hell are you shooting at? Yeah, I love doing that, going into a, a little corner and just having used Trans Am right in the middle of a bunch of enemies like that. In the line of enemies. Yeah, there isn't much to say anymore. I don't. I'm pretty much gonna be stalling at this point until we get to more plot. Oh, there we go. Hi, Judo. Uh, hi. Whoa. Now, Judo has a pretty um powerful SP. It's his hyper mega cannon. 
which he does fire off at that point, but I'm out of the way, so I was lucky. Yeah, um, Judo can be a powerful enemy or a powerful ally depending on how you play. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to overkill him. Uh, yeah, of course, victory. No question, them. Really, I'm just fighting for the future, Tifa. Of course, I defended it. Ugh. Uh. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I didn't do much. Oh, uh, yay! Uh, once you p purchase a license. Holy shit, that's nice. I got some good ones. Uh, once you purchase a license, all pilots can use it. I'm willing to surrender, but you can't have this Gundam. No. Please, hero, don't commit suicide. We beg you, you have so much. Oh, god damn it, Relina. Buff. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm going to clear a lot of things up before someone actually writes in the comment. I don't hate Gundam Wing. I don't hate Hero. I don't hate that series in particular. I just don't find it outstanding like a lot of other people do. It has its faults, and its story element especially. The fact that, you know, a lot of points I'm just like, just kill them. You have them in your possession. They're going to br do something stupid, crazy, heroic, and they're going to fuck you right over. Okay? Uh, so why, uh, yeah, just... It's a good series that just has a lot of faults. I say Double O is a better version of Gundam Wing. And it's an actually good series. And I know I just started a fan war, so... I apologize for that, but I really had to get that off my chest because I don't uh, I, I gotta stop <laughs> yeah I'm just going to stop right there because I know I'm gonna cause some shit uh... alrighty so we have Judo Hero and Relina now as part in our team uh, nothing much is going to change until a while, so... Hey, Judo. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he... So, for those who don't never seen Double Zeta since it never came out outside of Japan, uh, Judo was pretty much a junker. He took mobile suit parts and odd jobs to pay for himself and his little sister. Uh, he got caught up in the war between the Neo Zeon and the remnant, I'm gonna say it like that, of, um, the AU. Yeah, that's all, that's what I'm gonna call him, the remnants of the AU. He and his friends pretty much become the pilot, the, what you would call the Gundam oh, team. There. What they've been known as, as the Gundam team, I should say. Yeah, they're, they're called the Gundam team because obviously, um, oh, fuck, I'm missing some shit. I'm missing a lot of Gs. Um, they're called the Gundam team because they have the double Zeta, they have the Zeta, the Akushiki, Although that was, that's more Gundam-esque than Gundam. The Mark II. They have all these Gundams at their disposal. And each of the characters in Double Zeta pilot one of these machines. Judo has piloted the Zeta, Double Zeta. I believe at one point the Mark II. But I don't think he ever piloted the Yakushiki. It's been a long time since I've watched Double Zeta. I do like Double Zeta. It just has a very slow start. You know what? I'm gonna start talking about the Gundam series as we hear the characters. <laughs> as the character, we gain more allies. Um, we met Loran. What do I think of Turn A Gundam as a series and as a Gundam? Uh, Turn A is actually not too bad. I actually do like it. The only problem is that finding it in a finding it in um. Borders modified. Commencing attack. Yeah, that's not Hiro's voice. I know that's not the original voice actor. Um. What I like about the Japanese voice acting is that it's all the original Japanese cast. Yeah, some of them are like hitting their 60s at this point, so it's impressive. They can still do this at a pretty pretty good range. Anyways, uh, back to Loran and the uh, Turn A. Uh, Turn A Gundam, I had a pr I've had a long, hard-ass I've managed to see it completely, but I managed to have a hard time finding it as a 
English subtitled um, series because it's not easy to find sometimes. I have found a website that has allowed me to view them all. Um, it's okay series. I just I love more the um, the little no, uh, known facts about it or um, what it was supposed to be originally. For those not don't know, um, uh, when um. Oh god, hang on. Before I actually fuck up his name, I really want to see how it's written and, and said. Uh, so I know I'm gonna get some flack if I mispronounce his name. Hey. Uh, Yushiyuki Tomino, okay, he's the he came back for double for turn A Gundam. He's actually the one who was the brainchild behind turn A. Um, when he returned, he originally wanted uh, Loran to be a female character, a main female protagonist. Uh, but either Sunrise or Bandai didn't like the idea because you know Gundam is more of a guy show; it's a shonen show, obviously. What he originally intended to do was to draw in more female audience. Uh, his name is actually the name. The original name for Loran is uh, Laura. Laura. Laura, uh, Laura. Oh fuck! I know it's Laura something. Actually, that is actually uh, given uh, reference to in the show itself when Loran has to disguise himself as a girl because he has a, such a girly look. And. Uh, Un under disguise so that he, they don't figure out that he's actually a guy so you know to show that oh we have gender equality as a show itself turn a is actually pretty good i do like it if you can find an english subtitled version what the fuck is that you gonna show me what you're made of today uh okay that's an odd looking mobile suit so, for those not to know, this is actually Night Gundam. Um, yeah, I still managed to kick his ass fairly easy, obviously. I never managed to play as Night Gundam, but Turn A as a series is actually pretty good. Uh, if you can find it, like I said, in English subtitled, uh, take a look at it because it's actually quite interesting. And it shows us that humanity what can happen with humanity anyways so yeah uh we're gonna go along with other series and other parts you know what that's what we're gonna do from now on that's what i'm gonna do from now on i'm gonna talk for you know what i'm gonna start from the original gundam from the next part all the way to double o because believe it or not i have not watched gundam age yet and i don't know if a lot of you are going oh don't bother or uh take a good look at it you might enjoy it all I've read from the uh, Wikipedia page for Gundam Age, I might as well go through it right now, is that from, the, from what I've read, the story is one of the darkest in Gundam history. And I mean, like, very, very dark. So I don't know what if that's true or not. Uh, I have to take a good look for myself. I just think the animation didn't do it for me at first because it looked way too kiddish. That's all I've got to say about it, really. But I'll take another look at it, or not a crack at it, I should say. So yeah, this part's gonna end. Uh, join me next time as we figure out what the hell that Gundam was in a uh, night armor. Of course, I called it out already. It's called it's Night Gundam. And so yeah, join me next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night.